So one question to always be asking, and, and this goes back to focus and the Pareto principle, right, of what makes the, the most impact for you now? Where is the low fruit for your business? And that's why we have the $1 million business plan for you to take notes. But you're looking at this in the context of what you do today. We have people come back and repeat the boot camp. Some people have come back three, four times. And even my faculty, they come and they sit and they, they sit in a live seminar and they go through it again because their point and their, their reference in life has changed and they can now apply these tools from a different perspective because they took it a year or two ago. So we will be having, you know, a discount for repeating the boot camp for people. Uh, and we'll also have some, some membership ongoing stuff so you can see the new stuff as it, uh, it comes in, probably a blog and access to uh, some ongoing group coaching. Um, you know, repeating it at times can be very valuable. Pull out your manual and just flip through it. And that's almost as good as a repeat. Index that manual, put some of those indexes in and the, the entrepreneur's journey map and infographic, as well as the, uh, the flow chart that we showed you earlier will be printed and, and you'll have those to hand off. And they act as an index into the tools as well. But of course, I can't emphasize enough, wisdom can't be taught. Wisdom is the result of learning and, and, and bad experiences and mistakes oftentimes. But we can help you know what you don't know. And every one of these tools will do that. They'll give you a checklist, they'll give you a roadmap, and they'll help you avoid the disasters that kill 80 to 90% of companies eventually. So make a plan, commit to it, put it on your calendar. And, you know, the ultimate reward here for you is something you have to figure out. Entrepreneurship provides a lifestyle of freedom. Uh, you know, one of my favorite sayings is, you know, the best, best reward in life is doing things your own way, right? Owning your own time, owning your own free freedom and not having a boss and being able to do uh, whatever you want in life. Secondly, you'll have the power to change the world. I've now changed three different industries and I'm working on two or three more as I speak. And my, I'm 60 now and I'm working on changing three industries. Uh, I have three businesses and I'm running them all at different levels and different commitments. And that will change obviously over time. But you will have the ability to change these. And, and the law of attraction says you can have anything you want. It doesn't say you can have everything you want, okay? So focus on one thing at a time. And building a startup is at least a three and probably a five-year process to turn a startup into a sizable growth company that has exit value and can be sold. And then you can, you know, stay on the board, be the chairman, you know, sell the business, whatever you want, and, and do your next thing and probably have made a large amount of money to be independent uh, for the rest of your life. Third, you know, there's generational wealth is possible here. A business that reaches 50 or $100 million in sales can be worth three, four, $500 million, maybe even a billion dollars if the growth rate and the profit is enough. And you'll see some of this financial analysis in the boot camp as we get into it as well. But even if 75% of the profits go to your investors, and you wind up with 25%. And, you know, if you bootstrap well and you can put some of your own capital in and, and do all the things that I recommend in the boot camp, you're probably going to be able to keep more than 25% of your business. But even if you keep 25%, if you build a significant business, we're talking about tens of millions of dollars in net worth that you can just let compound while the business grows for a long time. Number four, fulfillment that is possible as an entrepreneur is, I think, unlike anything else in the world, because you get to decide what you want to work on and where you want to change the world and what you want, want to make happen. So it's huge. So, you know, think about this the, in the visualization of what rewards are important to you. I'm a big scuba diver, so I like to go scuba diving. That's one of my personal rewards. I'm a big sailor. Uh, I like to charter yachts and, and go out. And when I combine the scuba and the sailing, you know, that's the best vacation there is for me. 
you can buy a yacht, you can have property, you can tour the world, you can sail around the other world, you can have multiple homes. And, and I don't put this here as a joke. I mean, I don't know how much this yacht costs. It's probably a $20 million boat or more. But if you build a $100 million business, you'll be able to afford that too. That's not hype. If, you know, if it's differentiated, you're going to do all the things I'm going to teach you in the boot camp. It's differentiated. You're building barriers to entry around it. You've got intellectual property. Um, you're in the right market and you're expanding and continuing to innovate and add products and services. You can build a hundred million dollar business. And I spend a lot of time with my CEO coaching clients expanding the thinking to think bigger about what's possible and doing it in a stepwise process. So all of these things are very possible. In fact, anything becomes possible if you develop these skills to become a successful entrepreneur, because when you can build a company, you can not only change an industry, but you can generate a huge amount of wealth for yourself, your family, your employees, and, uh, and anyone else involved in it, potentially make a lot of jobs. Uh, and help the economy and, uh, and, and country be competitive as well. So um, I'd like you now to download the benchmark on business design knowledge. This is meant as a reference point to show you how your thinking is going to change as you go through the boot camp. Don't skip it. It's an exercise. Do it. It's going to help you understand uh, the shifts in your thinking and give you a lot of aha moments as you go through. Uh, once again, and, and I'll repeat it because my dad always said, tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you told them. Uh, and, and that's one way to get retention up, right? But try to review the slides for every session for a few minutes, um, either after the session or before you move on to the next one. So one of my, uh, my favorite philosophers is, is Goethe. And, you know, one of his quotes here is, until one is committed, there's hesitancy, the chance to draw back. Making a commitment and not having an alternative. Uh, the Vikings used to call this burning the boats, right? You would burn the boats when you landed to conquer, to conquer a new nation, because then every soldier knew you had no retreat. You had to move forward. And that's very powerful psychology. But you've got to get into the groove of what works for you, right? You've got to keep calm and be the tortoise, not the hare. You're going to knock off some of this hopefully every day or five days a week or three days a week at a one to two hours a whack minimum. And you're going to get through it. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be the most impactful thing you ever did in your life, I think if you uh, want to be committed to be an entrepreneur. So immerse yourself in it, relax and just do it. You know, try to let it flow over you. And don't be afraid if you're not as quick a learner, you know, you can replay the, the video at any time and go over it again and again, as long as you're a member of the site. So don't be afraid to go through a session that you don't understand as well a second time. Now, one of the most important things you will take away is this $1 million business plan because it's going to extract the most important ideas from, from you as we go so you don't forget it. And this is what this looks like. Whoops, I'm going to go back. I, I meant to show you the cover first. This is a multi-page document, and it's got a space for each of the courses or tools you will take. So what you're going to do is just take a note in each at the end of each course and fill in the most important things for your business that you learned that will you'll implement and work on right away. And we've added notes to say who's going to do it and when you're going to do it because we want you to think about that. You are going to be overwhelmed with ideas and ways to improve your business as you go through this. And so it's impossible to get all of that right. But so you can always leave that blank and you can come back after the boot camp and fill in the when later once you understand all of the things that you're going to try to implement. But, you know, this is essentially a battle plan 
for taking all of this information and applying it to your business. And as, as uh, I think it was uh, one of the, the great fighters, maybe Mike Tyson, that said, everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face. And the military has a similar one that you always have, you know, a battle plan. But as soon as the first bullet flies, you've got to be more liquid. You've got to potentially pivot and change the plan. But the value of the plan is the preparation. It's the resources. It's the training. It's the coordination of the team. So the plan itself is less valuable than what's in the head that was created in the team, hopefully, in developing that plan. So are you ready to get started? It's not going to be easy. It may not be fun. Some of you might enjoy it. I know I would because I love challenge and abstract thinking. But not everyone's going to uh, going to love doing this. But uh, this can be the most important thing you ever do in your life. And it can really change your life in a big way and have a huge impact. So I'm wishing you the best of luck. You know, we're going to teach you to tase, which is think, act, strategize, and execute like a five-star general or a top 5% CEO. And once you learn these tools and practice them, you're going to be one of the best business people on the planet. You'll be able to be a consultant, an advisor, a board of directors, because when you apply these tools, you're going to be able to make any business better. So this is Bob Norton signing off. I wish you luck. Commit and make it happen. That's what makes success. I'll see you in the boot camp soon. Bye-bye. 